kind of silly just me sitting here by myself. <laughs> All right, well, without any further ado, let's welcome the one and only Bob So cool, and I really appreciate you all coming today. And over there, we're gonna... hi, Bob. Hi, John. <laughs> but I didn't know what to expect. But everybody's been just so, so. Yeah, sweet. a lot more love than I expected. Really loving, really and good people. Dignified, nice people. Everybody's been great except for you guys. <laughs> Actually, I'm kidding. I love these guys. These are like my brother. Don't touch me. We've now. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> it out. I just did. <laughs> uh, I met Bob when I was 18 years old. That's right. In Don't Detroit. Judge. <laughs> you guys lived together in a single uh, studio apartment, right? Absolutely. On bed? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's, but we did have a single small apartment. And then uh, I knew Dave when he was 18. 18. 18. And I was 23 or something. And then Dave and John were doing this show. And I got fired from another show. And we, originally, we did it with another guy. Uh, what was his name? John Posey. Yeah. That makes me feel bad, but yes. Well, we, uh, uh, and then his son was the guy on the vampire show, Posey. Is there a Posey on there? Tyler. Tyler, Tyler that's right. Yeah. They know everything, that's what I mean. They're also so smart. You know way more about us than we know about ourselves. <laughs> and he played his son, the, the J-Lo's son in Made in America, the young man. Uh, John Posey's son. That's what we're talking about, Tyler. I know that's what I was saying. They said the name, but I was saying that he was also a major. Good night, everybody. Thank you. I'll be my own. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm needed at the home. We're gonna keep it clean today. How about this? Is I'm very clean. Very good, Danny Tanner. I'm always clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if it's okay with you guys, since this is a Q and A, we are gonna take some questions from the audience. If you guys can patiently line up, one question per person. And if you can uh, ask a question, all three of these gentlemen can answer. And while you guys are lining up, I guess I'll do the first question. Uh, first question. question. You can't ask us uh, where do babies come from. I will no. not answer that. <laughs> um, that was my first. Okay. okay. I'll go to my second question then. Uh, so obviously, over all the seasons of Full House and Fuller House, there's been a lot of life lessons and teachable moments. But what would you guys say has been the biggest life lesson or takeaway that you guys learned throughout the series? Always wear clean underwear. <laughs> I think that's, that's well. You never have, but that's not your fault. <laughs> I, I actually have an answer, I, which is what the what, what you want to say. I'm sorry. Well, I just think I think Full House is a real testament to family and uh, family values, and so many people have told us over the years that um, they don't make a whole lot of shows anymore. For your entire family to watch. And Big, shot that that is... Plus. Big shot at Disney Plus. Big shot. Big shot at Disney Plus is amazing. It's actually one of my favorites. And so that's one of the things that we hear often is that, you know, we watched this show when we were kids and now our kids uh, watch it all these years later. So I think, I think we're really proud of the fact that it's a show that, you know, has become multi-generational. I was just going to say, say, along the same vein, a lot of people that came up to us today thanked us for what we did for your childhood, and then thanked us for what your children are just discovering. And John will address that. You make us sound so old. <laughs> <laughs> I say there's a new Full House fan born every four years. And it's, 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 you know, when we were doing it, we had no idea. I mean, we didn't think we were here. Zero idea. You know, Thirty years later, and. You know, we've all been through different things throughout our, our life and throughout the last 30 years, you know, between shows. And, um, but we always stay best friends and we've been there for each other when our, when our, you know, our mothers all passed away and the good times and weddings and divorces and, you know, uh, babies. We actually, I had a wedding and a divorce in the same event. Oh, here? No, not here. But <laughs> was right on this stage. <laughs> Dave was a bridesmaid. 
But we're, you know, it's just, you know, and, and for me, to, personally, I was like, eh, you know, enough of the full house. Tired, you know? And then I realized what Dave and Bob were talking about, that it means so much to so many people. And then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to embrace it and be grateful for it, which I am very much. And then we decided to do Fuller House. We got together and so said, let's do this again because we missed each other, we love each other so much. And I think people wanted to see more of, of, of these hijinks. And uh, anyway, it's just I'm just so grateful to be here, and I'm grateful to all of you for being so kind to us for so many years. And in 20 years, we're going to do Fullest House, where we're all... <laughs> well, you know that my joke is... No, my joke is it's, it's just but it, it, me and an urn by a window. That's <laughs> why. Yeah. Well, Danny looks great in this light, doesn't he? Right. He's a little ashy. He looks a little ashy. Yeah, he's ashy. Yeah, we call him Ernie. Yeah. I'm a dad now. i got to do dad jokes. I do want to also say the thing that uh, a lot of people related to, and that's why the show hasn't gone off the air, and Don always tells me this stuff, it's never gone off the air since it premiered. And it's because of the love. Uh, and the, yes, morality lessons, family lessons, uh, comedy, a lot of fun comedy. The cement truck banged through the window and we were using a dustpan. What were you doing during that scene? <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. You were doing something funny and stupid, but it yeah. was fun. <laughs> I was listening to music at the kitchen table. It, with the headphones, you didn't know what was going on. I, I, I was, yeah. And then I, we reprised that same scene uh, on Fuller House, and I actually directed that episode where the car crashes through the, the But that's different than the cement. Than the cement truck, but I just wanted to work that in there that I directed an episode. <laughs> it was a great director. Yeah, it was a great director. How many did you do, David? I ended up directing six of the episodes. I did a great job. Thank you. Thank you did, and they're really good if you watch them in reverse. <laughs> With the family on I think somebody had a question, I'm not sure. Oh, I want to have, yeah. Question. I just wanted to say one more thing I had to say, which was just that the love that the show had is because of how much we love each other. And really that filtered through to all of the kids. Uh, and that's true. Am I wrong? Nope. <laughs> Short answers are my favorite. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are going to take some questions. No request. You can't ask for hugs right now. Uh, no, uh, no, as much as we want to. All right, we're going to start right over here. What's your question? Oh, well, I'm good to see you guys. Um, Thank you. And of course. What's your name? Well, my name is David Camille Wentz, or just, you know, David Wentz. Because What's your show number? <laughs> 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 but uh, anyway, my question for all three of you guys, Bob first and then the other two. No. Thanks for asking. <laughs> you understand me. I can't help it. I was born that way. Bob and the other two. I didn't tell it was a true acting role. <laughs> um, in your personal opinion, guys, what do you think was your favorite episode? Of um, Full House, what did you, what, in other words, what did you like the best and why? Bob first. <laughs> That's a hard question for me. Um, Can I run to the store while he's answering this? <laughs> I'll be in Universal. Yeah, in LA. John and I are, got some stuff to do. I'm going to carve at the stage. <laughs> um, you know, um, <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. <laughs> I guess the Thanksgiving episode, one, one of them, there was uh, one where I don't know why, but I couldn't say grace, um, and I kept giggling, and then they finally gave it to John, um, and he did a good grace. And there was a, that was, was a lot old, of heart. The old show? The full house? Yeah, the old shows. You meant the older shows, right? Yeah, just the original Full House. Right, because it had... That and a couple Christmas shows had a real good family spirit because those holidays bring that out. But we would, these guys goofed off a lot. And we would get in trouble. Well, you guys would get in the most trouble. I got in trouble. Yeah. But I, I, didn't do, I didn't do it at I just threw a couple pictures. <laughs> well, he was a good artist. Of them. But, but we would get in the laughing jacks so hard that we would get in trouble. And then, right? We would laugh so hard. We, would, we, we laughed so hard, and the kids weren't around for it when they were kids, but then we would do it separately, but they saw us laughing, so they would come over to see what we're laughing at, 
And then we had to stop, but we couldn't stop laughing. So I don't understand. Uh, Bob and I could not, we never finished one scene. <laughs> and the line was, I, I looked at, at Bob, Joey looks at Danny and he says, Jesse ran away from home. <laughs> We never got that line we once have. because we, we, we got a case of the giggles and we couldn't well, uh, but actually, stop laughing. Dave read a note that was from Jesse, and Jesse says, you play Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Dave read a note and said, we have to be here, each other. What did this note say? I can't be here anymore, I can't do this. Nothing like that. But that he said that off screen, too. <laughs> we were stupid. And, and, and then uh, I, you read the whole thing, and I'm supposed to look into his face, this face, and say, Jesse ran away from home? And I didn't say that. I couldn't do it. Just did it. It just happened. <laughs> now I can do it. It's 30 years later. 30 years. Yes. Um, answer enough. Can you, oh, I just want to, you're signing. I just want to say one word. I just want to see what it looks like signing. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gravitation. How about, cut, how about cut it out? How does that work? See? See? Dang. I, I love the Disney World episode. We went to Disney World. Yeah. Dave and I got to uh, learn how to dive. We were under the water for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. We uh, took diving lessons. I took what? diving lessons. Yeah. Staring at me like he's in love with me. Well, I don't know. <laughs> The thing is, I'd like to change my answer to the Disney World episode. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to play music there. That was a good one. Um, is it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> I was just kind of enjoying watching those guys speak, you know, so I was relaxing over there. Uh, probably the hockey episode, Stonewall. Um, and it was because I got to play hockey, something that I love to do in my real life. And uh, a bunch of guys that I played senior hockey with in LA, uh, I got them hired uh, to be extras and skate around on the ice, and we had a great time, uh, you know, putting that episode together. Either that or the episode where um, the cement truck backs into the kitchen because I remember laughing about that a lot. I saw a meme of that today. Did you, I think I said to James, like, you were, piece, you were supposed to be like... Yeah, you did send me that. Like 20, 20, 20, and I was like, this. And that was like, yeah. what was it? COVID. Well, I know. But, <laughs> but it has something to do with COVID, right? I remember using a dustpan and a, a broom to try to clean up, like, two feet of cement. Wait, hold on. I just have to see this again. What? Poop. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so I had no idea. Well, just don't take it further. Oh, oh. So 2021 plans was Dave all like, so where's the key? <laughs> He's all calm. And then, and then, the, then I'm the Delta variant. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, we made it. Well, thanks a lot, John. Thank you, David. But, oh, Bob, what do you have your number for Bob? Did she quit? <laughs> 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 I said, yeah. is it poop too much? <laughs> is he, did you, do you have like a two poop in your contract or something? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so no, terrible. I think it reminded her that she's pooped. She's tired. She <laughs> <laughs> has to do a pee. I've never seen a person that signs actually quit. That's universal, and there's children here. <laughs> and that's for me. Because <laughs> I know better. Tattoos that you guys have seen, or like any kind of. There's, there's a, a lady. I'll show you Bob's face. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's not a tattoo, it's more of an imprint. Oh, the Bob is saying one letter. Oh! <laughs> actually, the I can't say this, go ahead. <laughs> You see them online, right? There's, there's, there's one lady who has our signatures uh, all over, and uh, okay, she has, uh, she has yours, and she has yours, and she said, uh, I was playing a stand-up date somewhere, and she said, I don't have yours yet, but I got Jim, I, I got Bob's, and <laughs> that was a B, and then nothing, and then another B. <laughs> We're gonna get, that's terrible. This is, well, I didn't say that. She's gonna quit now. <laughs> We're we gonna get a third signer. All right, thank you for your question. Thank you guys very much. Well, we, had, we, had, we had one more answer, which was that both John's face and my face have been tattooed on people's behinds and on their arms. And that's, uh, John sees them often. <laughs> uh, not the behind, but the pictures. And they send them to me also, which is uh, scary. This is turning into outhouse. <laughs> it's the first time of a QA where I go, no way to come back. And then, <laughs> person that the person that talk to us, great, talk to us. <laughs> All right, I, I hate this. Hi, uh, my name is Dan Powers uh, from Orlando. I'm here with my two children, Mia and Malcolm. Huge fans of your show and the new show. <laughs> uh, I just was hoping to see if you guys could talk about how this show, and even with uh, as far as Full House and then also with Fuller House, how that's kind of impacted the before and after of your careers when it comes to your opportunities. You mean they're done after this? They're done. I didn't know. No, but I was hoping you guys could kind of talk a little bit about how that's impacted, even positively and negatively, into like opportunities that came for. Like I said, it was sort of when we ended it, 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 it was a double-edged sword in the sense that it, it, it you know, made it so popular. And um, it, for me personally, I got to you know travel around the world, and take my family, and I got to highlight my favorite band, the Beach Boys, on there, and it was great. But you know, it was also sort of hard to you know break out of the that mold, but like I said, after a while I just stopped trying. I did, you know, we've all done, you know, a decent amount of work throughout the years. Bob and I have done stuff, you know, theater. I remember um, I was doing a show in New York on Broadway with James Earl Jones. It was a three hour Gorby Doll show and great reviews. You know, working with James Earl Jones, one of the greatest living actors. And uh, Angela Lansbury was in it. Beautiful show, very, very powerful. And I went outside, I finally said, I made it as an actor. I went outside to sound and I goes, Uncle Jesse, say have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> Forget it, I don't care. But, but it's, uh, it's, look, it's, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here, obviously, without those shows. Uh, so we're vibrating. Thank you. Uh, I think we're all incredibly grateful. And uh, it, it's really because of you. All of you that you've supported us really we, we love you so much and we, we talk about how great our fans are all the time and a show can't be successful without great fans and wow you guys have supported us for for all these years and you know that there couldn't have been a fuller house first of all John uh, our hats are off to John because John really um, there wouldn't be a Fuller House if it wasn't for John, because John uh, produced that and, and pretty much, uh, you know, he would tell me, he, calls, he would call me up and he'd say, hey, this, this Fuller House thing's gonna happen. And i go, okay, call me. You know, I'll be on a golf course somewhere. And then he'd, go, he'd call back and he'd go, no, it's really gonna happen. I'd go, okay, I'll be playing hockey today, call me. It yeah. took a long time. But it took a long time. We went to every. We pitched this, by the way. This is a thing. We pitched it. Sorry, we pitched it every, for like a year. Everybody said no except for Netflix. You know that? Yeah. And, and then for, like, for five years, every five years, it, it took tw it, twenty years later. But he did not stop. He, he and, and Jeff Frank and, and Bob Boyette. <laughs> 
But, but for me, uh, I always wanted to direct, and Fuller House um, really gave me that opportunity to, to become a television director, and all the biggest episodes, for some reason, would end up, I would be the director on the schedule. The first show I did was the Christmas show, and we had 50 uh, cast members for that show. I had a dog, I had a, a rabbit, and the scene, final scene of the show culminates with the dog giving the rabbit a carrot. So I had all these things, I had stunts, I had dancers, I had choreographed, and that was the first episode. So it seemed like all those big episodes kind of ended up on my plate, but it was a great challenge for me. Um, and Floor House really- You did a great uh, job, and it was tough to take direction from a guy goes, hey, holy cool. <laughs> but I, I'm forever grateful that that show, you know, allowed me to, to wear a completely different hat, and uh, you know, I'm very grateful for that. There's also something to be said about we people call them fans, and I would always watch uh, things uh, where stars would go. But I think they're fans when they accept an award. And years ago, I'm in the middle of you. <laughs> I know. Can you be stupid and pass that? Yeah, I got some back here. Uh, but what I was going to say was, or was saying, <laughs> do you have anything I can eat? You can't eat one. Uh, was that I Thank got you, Dave. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is that, uh, can I have water? <laughs> do we have any more questions? Wow, that's bad. Um, <laughs> that never happens in real life. Well, it's, it's not fans, really. It's a relationship with people. And when it's on for 35 years ago until now, uh, that's Talk a faster, real, Bob. We're losing people. It's a real uh, <laughs> relationship. They have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, uh, it's just that it's, it's an honor. It, it's not just fandom. It's we meant something to all of you, and that means a great deal to all of us. Everybody. I'm, I'm getting to wrap it up, unfortunately. So you're going to get it out. Wait, we're just starting. I know, I know. We have to get you back to your table. Can we talk some more? Do you want to do a rapid fire one? Yeah, sure. All right, pressure's on. What's your name? Hello, uh, my name is Lena. Thank you. Next. Whatever. <laughs> Um, first of all, thank you guys for being here um, with this pandemic and not canceling. Please continue. Alright. Um, so, as you guys didn't realize, like, you are in the show, like, John, are you guys getting all in your hair? Like, you are. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, are you a clean freak? No. <laughs> Uh, yes, I am. At home. I mean, it is. Uh, I mean, since uh, quarantine and all this stuff happened, I've used Purell constantly as makeup remover. <laughs> I am a clean freak. I, I, I have been, yes. And I am a hover. I kind of introduced you to the character. Oh, my. Dave, are you you? Are you you? Yes, you? <laughs> Did you ask him how to do you? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's him. Yeah. Am I always yeah, I'm me. Are you asking if Joey is it? Exactly. You bet. <laughs> he kinda is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I guess that was the question. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright. What do you have? John, if you're pointing to the Did you answer anything you asked? Yes. Yeah, sure. right. This is gonna have to be the last question I told you oh, to so the John. I thought we had an hour. I was gonna sing. Yeah. Are you I was going to do the teddy bear song and do the sports. At the same time. Okay, one last question and then teddy bear song. Uh, what's your name? I'm Jaden. Hi. Hi. Um, what is like your favorite memory that was so stupid it ended up being extremely funny? This moment right here. <laughs> in the show? We came out one time, didn't we come out with our pants down or something? Yes, we did. We got in trouble by the moms. 
had boxers on, it was set up, and we were filming it, but they were running behind on kid time, because you have a certain amount of time with child actors. Can I say to you, I was gonna say earlier, I'm sorry, but you know, the show, what, 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 I think we were ahead of the time because we were a, an unconventional family. We were not a mother, a father, or two, you know, we were sort of early on, and it's, I think it kind of made it okay to be a single parent or, a, you know, same-sex parents or just a different looking household than, uh, than what you think a perfect family would look like. And we're proud of that, too. And yeah, also, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm just gonna say, in Disney movies, there's often a single parent. There's not a mom, there's not a dad. It happens a lot, there's not a mom. And people came up to me and I want my whole career. Uh, my whole career. It's a sweet thing I'm gonna say, Dave. <laughs> All I'm getting at is that people come up and say I lost my mom. And watching it with my dad or my siblings helped us to have conversations after. And that's valuable from the show for a lot of people. That's the heart that's of the show. Fun. And you can be comedy around that. We were, we, were in a, we were in a press conference early on in the show, and the character of Pam died, right? Somebody out in the office, it was a press thing, and said, how did, how did Pam die? And then went, go ahead. Well, it was, of course, me that answered. Um, they said, how did the mom pass away? And our executive producer said, cancer. At the same time, I said, a car accident. And, and then I said, well, she had cancer in the car. <laughs> and it's, it's a gallows humor, but having had a lot of death in all of our families, uh, that's how we dealt with it, which is to make humor about it. And that's what that joke is. Not a good taste at all, but it did make some of the press laugh. I think that moment we all sat around, was it your backyard, Dave, when we were talking about, I think you, was it your mother just passed away, Dave? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, and you guys came over to my house. And then we went to visit Bob's, uh, uh, Bob's uh, mother. We shouldn't end this on us. That's how close we are. We're brothers. So we just are. And you find out who your brothers are. So many times it's not people you were related to genetically. But uh, we, when my mom was leaving, I told her that John and Dave were coming over. And this was in hospice. And I loved my mom so much. And they did too. But she loved them like they were my brothers. Dave has a, I'm gonna say it, I don't care. He has a problem with gas. He has a problem. I, don't, I don't have a problem. It, it comes, comes out. He's gonna quit. So he's in my mother's No house. problem here. <laughs> he's in my mother's, I don't know how you're signing this. Uh, he's in my mother's Boom. hospice room. And Dave lets one go by an oxygen tank, he and I said, Dave, you're going to kill us all, that's an oxygen And my mother said, oh, let him be Dave. <laughs> and then John, she's put, before he came over, she put makeup on him. And I said, you're not going to mess around with him, he's just not going to be with you. You never know. <laughs> that would have been your dream. Just, it's nice to end on a nice emotional note because that's what our show was and that's what we feel about you. So God bless you all for supporting us over here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.